The Urban Development Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago is pleased to announce that construction on the Arima Hospital is 98% complete with a first phase carded for mid-April and the remaining services to be fully operational by May. The focus is currently on installation, commissioning and provision of end-users training of all items of medical and non-medical equipment systems. So, the intention is walking up to the hospital could get up to either the outpatient area or the accident and emergency via the astronaut walkway that is attached to the outpatient room. Or they have the option to use this glass lift that we have that will only take it to the first. And from, from the lift location, you could walk to the left or take it to the accident and emergency or the, a corridor that will take you back to the outpatient entrance. The main entrance to the hospital is up this ramp, which is our patient ramp. This is the main entry point here. Upon entering, you come upon an information area. And straight ahead, you have the telephone operators and admission essentially, along with a waiting area. The services set to become available to the public include accident and emergency care for adult and pediatric patients, pharmacy, laboratory and psychiatry and outpatient services, including radiology and physiotherapy. From the, um, from the main entrance, this, this essentially is the main spine. So this could either head to outpatient department or head to physiotherapy or the labs or if you walk down this car, they will take you to radiology. The project, carried out by the China Railway Construction Company Caribbean Limited and QES and Associates Limited, will see an additional 150 beds installed and shared between the gynecology, psychiatry, high dependency, internal medicine, intensive care unit and obstetrics departments. There will also be 227 parking spaces to accommodate visitors. Patients and their relatives can also rest assured that the hospital will be equipped with 100% generator backup with fuel storage for 72 hours and 96 hours of on-site water storage.